We use the bee smoke to calm the bees down. There's two things that happen really. One is that it disguises the attack pheromone. So the bees will uh, uh, release a pheromone into the air and uh, um, that will signal to other bees that there's an intruder, there's a disturbance, and they'll, uh, they'll go on the defense. They won't necessarily uh, be aggressive bees. They're not by nature aggressive. Uh, they are defending themselves is all they're up to. And so the smoke covers that, uh, mask that smell, overrides that attack, attack smell. And then also the bees uh, instinctively think that they're going to need to, to uh, grab something to eat before their, their forest, their flower patch, or their tree burns down. So they go and engorge themselves on honey when you smoke them. And when they're full of honey, they're busy doing something else, and they're more docile, and they can't hunch over to sting you as well when they're full of honey. So that's uh, how a bee smoker works, why we use them in the beehive. The smoker is an essential beekeeping tool. If you're going to keep bees, you need a good quality smoker, and you need to use it. It's the nicest way to keep bees from stinging you. So if, if bees sting you, of course their stinger comes out, it's barbed, and when it comes out, it, they die. So fewer stings means that fewer bees die when you get into the beehive. So we try to be careful not to smash bees when we get in on a hive, and we don't want the bees to die either from stinging unnecessarily. It's almost unavoidable to, uh, to prevent all stinging, but the smoker will prevent most of it. If you're of the opinion that smoke disturbs the colony and is, is, is in some way invasive or mean to the bees, it's actually a beneficial thing for the bees, not just a tool, a manipulation tool for the beekeeper.